Hi, it's me. I'm in my polytunnel. Um, I just thought I'd do a Thursday update. I've just turned the system off. It's been on um, up until <laughs> just now. Um, but I did, because of the fact that we've got uh, no sun again and it's kind of drizzly old day. It was a nice day yesterday and it did charge it all up and it was all going and everything. Um, but I've still got another battery to put on and we've got to connect some more panels. Um, so I'm going to do an update video on that hopefully tomorrow. Um, the, the system's off but the uh, polytunnel's growing well. This is the um, raised fruit and veg patch. I've got a banana tree, as you know, an avocado, a load of peppers, calamansi, and you can see all the fruit, different fruits growing on them, calamansi there, peppers growing. Um, I did pick a whole load and they're quite warm, but they're very nice, nice flavoured. Um, the uh, calamansi in that, I did some cuttings off and they're over uh, by the melons. The, um, the polytunnel, the vent on the back of it, I've closed down. Um, and as you can see, I'd already cut a hole in it so that the gutter goes through the, the hole and it collects the water off the back of the polytunnel, which then rolls rolls down there, runs down there and into the gut, into the um, pond. And this tops the pond up. The other pond is nice and full because I put the gutter onto there. And because I've just turned the system off, it's still just running back in. But that's good. Um, the... Hang on a minute. The, um, like I say, the, the air vent, I had it rolled up all summer and it goes all the way along the back of the polytunnel. When I bought the polytunnel, it was an extra, as is the staging. So I'll just take you to show you. This is the air vent and it's just a windy handle. So you just wind it either way, that way or that way. Anti-clockwise, obviously, and it goes up and clockwise and it goes down. And it runs the whole back of the polytunnel all the way down the 60 foot of it. And um, my mate Andy Nunn helped me. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. I think my mate Andy helped me um, to put the fair vent on, I don't know, in 2018, on the 28th of May 2018, until like four o'clock in the afternoon. And um, yeah, I've got some pictures of when I did it. If you want to know how to build a polytunnel and you want to know how to put an air vent on, um, then you can go back through all my videos and it is in the 2018 section on building a polytunnel and doing the air vent. Um, and then, as I say, I've got my raised bed in here, tropical bed. Uh, everything else is going well. The pond is filling up, which is brilliant. It's really nice. I'm glad I did cut that hole in it. And it's surprising how warm it is just to shut the vent. Um, it, it's incredible. Like it's probably up a degree or two. Otherwise, it's like an outside temperature. Um, I have been potting up uh, kohlrabi. I just did a tray of them. Let me just show you. And I put them in the floating raft bed. Um, these are delicious white. Those are delicious purple. Um, I don't know whether they'll work in a floating raft bed or not because they're quite heavy plants. But we'll see. I'm going to give them a try anyway. I've got loads of them. Um, and I've got some in the media beds and they, they are growing really well. I took two out. I took a white one and a purple one out. And I had the purple one for tea last night along with a, pe um, a squash. And the white one I had the night before with bacon. I love bacon. Uh, bacon goes with everything. Anyway, um, these ones here is a whole uh, raft bed of Wong Bok. These are purple kohlrabi along with wongbok again. And then I've got all the different things. Those are like a January King Savoy cabbage, uh, but it's like a pinky red one. Um, there's spinach, there's some spinach in the floating raft bed. There's watercress and wild rocket. I've still got the odd, um, old strawberry here. Tomatoes are doing well and I'm still getting tomatoes off. I've got my new um, selection of geraniums. They're my neighbour's old geraniums, as you can see, they're a bit tatty. But I'm just letting them uh, grow through, and as soon as they've got some roots, not some roots, some proper leaves on, I'll have them to tidy them up and um, just tidy them up and make them good. Um, these are the rest of my seedings. I've still got um, these, which are also kohlrabi, but these are the ones, the unpronounceable one, and it's like a cross between a purple and a white, except it's bigger like the Prague giant ones. 
underneath there's some lettuce um, different sorts of lettuce there's only a couple coming through um, and then I can't remember what, what they are uh, oh yeah savoy cabbages as well and then the next ones are all like a mustard different types of mustard snow in the green and giant red and things like that I got some prickly pears which are growing which is really nice my worm bin's growing really growing my worm bin's going all right I put a big banana leaf in let I chop some bananas down I give it a, a rinse over as well with a bit of water um, and the worms are doing ever so well I'm not going to take you into it I'll do a separate worm bin um, update another time everything else is going well tomatoes as I say are still producing in the floating right no, they're not in the media beds um, and I'm still getting my melons are still growing um, there's seven big ones the little yellow ones which I was quite excited about don't seem to have come through they've gone a bit funny so they've just fallen off um, but the other melons they're all doing well and these are the cuttings that were in the floating raft bed I think they're Callum and C all three of them this one here has got an enormous root that goes all the way around the pot whereas these two have only got little tiny roots but they were in the system in the floating raft bed for the whole of the summer so they've got two chances and they've got some leaves on so hopefully they'll grow in there and and it'll be nice to have a couple more plants but there we go like I say one of them's got a massive root and the other two haven't so much but um I just thought I'd bring you along for an update on my system and uh, everything else and I hope everybody's well and looking after yourselves and having fun in your gardens and polytunnels and greenhouses nice one cheers